Cybersecurity Today is brought to you by CDW Canada Tech Talks. If you're passionate about technology and innovation, this is the podcast for you. Join host KJ Burke as he and industry experts dive into the latest trends, insights, and strategies shaping the tech landscape in Canada. From hybrid cloud to AI adoption, CDW Canada Tech Talks covers it all. Don't miss out. Visit cdw.ca slash tech talks to tune in today. The SEC fines four companies $7 million for misleading cybersecurity disclosures. Over 6,000 WordPress sites are hacked to install malicious plugins. And Okta introduces new security standards amid rising SaaS breaches. This is Cybersecurity Today. I'm your host, Jim Love. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has fined four companies a total of $7 million for misleading disclosures about cybersecurity incidents, particularly those related to the 2019 SolarWinds hack. The companies include Unisys, Avaya, Checkpoint Software, and Mimecast Limited. According to the SEC, these companies downplayed the severity of breaches in their public statements, obscuring the true impact from their investors. Unisys, which received the largest fine of $4 million, inaccurately presented its cybersecurity risks as hypothetical, despite knowing of significant breaches involving 33 gigabytes of stolen data. The SEC also noted that Unisys lacked proper controls to ensure accurate reporting of such incidents. Avaya was fined $1 million for failing to disclose that hackers compromised at least 145 files from its cloud environment, while Checkpoint Software was fined $995,000 for using vague language to describe its risks, even though malware had infiltrated its network, and Mimecast was fined $990,000 for minimizing the details of a breach that led to critical code and credentials being stolen. The SEC emphasized that public companies must provide full and accurate information about cybersecurity incidents. Acting Director of Enforcement Sanjay Wadwa stated it is incumbent upon companies to not further victimize their shareholders by providing misleading disclosures. The companies cooperated with the investigation and agreed to enhance their cybersecurity controls. Over 6,000 WordPress sites have been compromised, installing malicious plugins that display fake software updates and errors and distributing information stealing malware. These attacks are part of ongoing campaigns named ClearFake and ClickFix, targeting users with deceptive messages to install harmful software. The ClearFake campaign has been active since 2023, using fake web browser update banners to push malware. In 2024, a new variant called ClickFix emerged, using fake software error messages to trick users into executing PowerShell scripts that install information stealing malware. These scripts have been disguised as fixes for supposed software errors with fake overlays mimicking Google Chrome, Google Meet, Facebook, and CAPTCHA pages. According to GoDaddy, threat actors have breached over 6,000 WordPress sites to install these malicious plugins, which are designed to appear legitimate but contain harmful scripts. The plugins have names similar to well known plugins such as WordFence Security, Lightspeed Cache, or use generic names to avoid suspicion. Examples of these malicious plugins include Lightspeed Cache Classic, Custom CSS Injector, WordFence Security Classic, and SEO Optimizer Pro. Once installed, the malicious plugins hook into WordPress Actions to inject JavaScript into the site's HTML, which then loads additional scripts through a Binance Smart Chain smart contract. These scripts eventually lead to the display of fake banners, pushing malware to end users. Researchers have found that the compromised sites are accessed using stolen admin credentials, which are used to log in and install the plugins automatically. The source of these stolen credentials remains unclear, but it's suspected they may have been obtained through brute force attacks, phishing, or previously deployed malware. Website administrators are urged to inspect installed plugins and remove any that seem unfamiliar. Additionally, resetting admin passwords to unique, secure values is recommended to prevent further breaches.
With software-as-a-service security breaches on the rise, security firm Okta has announced a new comprehensive identity security standard aimed at enhancing protection across SaaS platforms. In 2024, 31% of organizations reported encountering a SaaS data breach, up from 26% in 2023, according to a report by App Omni. Many of these breaches were identity-based, highlighting the urgent need for improved security practices. At its flagship event, Octane, held in Las Vegas, Okta introduced the Interoperability Profile for Secure Identity in the Enterprise, IPSI. Developed in collaboration with the OpenID Foundation and companies such as Microsoft, Google, Ping Identity, and Beyond Identity, IPSI aims to create a common framework that strengthens security across SaaS products. The standard mandates measures like single sign-on, lifecycle management for secure onboarding and offboarding, and entitlements that enforce least privilege access, moving towards zero standing privileges. We've seen that a lot of attacks from malicious actors towards companies and their applications and infrastructure tend to be identity-based attacks, said Shiv Ramji, president of customer identity at Okta. IPSI is intended to address these gaps by enhancing security controls, mandating centralized login, and enabling risk signal sharing, which allows for a more seamless exchange of security insights across the ecosystem. It also provides session termination, which allows for immediate shutdown of all user sessions in response to detected threats. While the introduction of IPSI has been welcomed by many in the industry, challenges remain in achieving widespread adoption. Many SaaS enterprises have developed their own internal standards, and adopting IPSI would require them to transition away from existing protocols. However, Okta is optimistic about the adoption, especially since many companies use its customer identity cloud, which is already implementing these standards. Brett Winterford, Okta's regional chief security officer for APAC, spoke with journalists at the sidelines of Octane and said that some of the major SaaS breaches witnessed this year could have been prevented if such standards had been in place. The initiative's backing by major industry players like Microsoft and Google underscore the significance of standardization and integration to address these vulnerabilities. Octa's Ramji said, it's a journey and our goal is to educate the entire ecosystem about the visibility gaps in security. We've gained valuable insights ourselves and are actively encouraging the industry to develop and ultimately adopt these standards. And that's our show for today. Thanks to our sponsor, CDW and KJ Birch CDW Canada Tech Talks. You can find it like us on Spotify, Apple, or you can find it at cdw.ca slash tech talks. And you can find other links to reports and other details in our show notes at technewsday.com. We welcome your comments, tips, and the occasional bit of constructive criticism at editorial at technewsday.ca. I'm your host, Jim Love. Thanks for listening.